Welcome to this WiseL tutorial. In this short video we're going to teach you how to use subreports in reporting services. What we'll cover in this session is all about how to work with a subreport. We'll start by showing you how to create a main report including a couple of the considerations in terms of formatting and layout. Then we'll move on and show you how to create the subreport which will need to include at least one parameter in order to link the two reports together. We'll then go through the process of inserting a subreport into a main report and finally how to connect the two together using the parameters we'll have created earlier on. So let's get started. In reporting services, a subreport is simply one entire report nested inside another one. So it might look like what we have on the screen here is just one single report, but it's actually composed of two completely separate ones one which is a table containing just a list of country names and the second is a table containing all of the film details. We've used parameters to connect the two reports together and then simply nested the film report inside the country one and in this video we're going to show you how to create something very very similar. So when you're building sub-reports in reporting services you'll always need to create two separate reports. What I'm doing here is I'm designing the main outer report and all I've done so far is created a data set containing a list of country names and their corresponding country IDs. The main report itself is actually going to be quite simple. All I need to do now is insert a table using the toolbox, choose to display the country name in the left hand column. The second two columns I don't need at all so I'm going to select them, right click and delete them and then I'm going to make the table span the width of the report just by increasing its width there. Center the text. I'll change the title of the table so it's something like films uh, by country. And then finally all I really need to do is insert a place in which the sub reports will be inserted. So to do that I'm going to right click at the left hand side of the table on the row selector. I'm going to choose to insert a row below the one that I've got selected. I need to make sure that that's inside the group. The end result should be another detail row in the table, like so. So all I need to do now is do a bit of basic formatting, which I won't bore you with too much hopefully. A bit of different font colour. And then maybe change the colour of the country name as well. So all I should have at this point, if I preview the report, is a simple list of every country name. Now that we've designed the main report, the next step is to go away and design the sub-report and I've already made a start on it here. So I have a simple data set which includes the details of each film that I'd like to display. So that includes the name, the release date and the running time in minutes. And very importantly I've also included the country ID of the film. This is what's going to connect the two reports together. So I've already inserted the table and selected the film name, release date and runtime minutes and done a bit of basic formatting here as well. And at this point all this report shows is a continuous list of all of the films from every country. What I need to do next is add a parameter to this report to make sure that I can then filter the data set by each country. So I can do that in the report data window. I'm going to right click on the parameters folder and choose to add one. And I'm going to call the parameter PRM country ID because that's the value that it's going to store. I don't need a prompt because the user will never see this parameter but I do need to change the data type to an integer or a whole number. Finally, I'm going to make sure that this parameter is a hidden one and I can then click OK and that's my parameter created. Now that I've created the parameter, I can use it to filter the results in the data set and I can do that by right clicking on the data set name and choosing to view its properties. And in the filters page of the dialog box, I can choose to add one. I want to make sure I only see results where the film country ID is equal to whatever the value of my parameter is. So I can, the easiest way to do that is to use the expression builder by clicking the FX button here, looking for the parameters category and then double clicking on the name of the one that I want. If I then click OK and click OK again, and one last little tweak I'll make to this report is to make sure that there's no white space below the table itself. Remember that this entire report is going to get nested inside the main one. So anything that's included in it 
even the white space at the bottom, will also be displayed. So at this point, I can simply save and close down the, the sub-report and then go back to the main one. The next job is to insert the sub-report that we've just saved into the blank empty cell that we created earlier on in the main report. And I can do that in one of two ways. Surprisingly, I can actually drag it directly from the Solution Explorer. If I find the report that I've just closed down and saved, I can literally click and drag and drop it into that cell. Now there's one small disadvantage of doing things that way, which means that in the real world I don't tend to bother. So I'm going to undo that and show you the method that I usually use, which is simply dragging a sub-report option or item from the toolbox. And in the same way, I simply drop it into that blank table cell and set up um, a basic sub-report. What I need to do now is configure this sub-report so that I can tell it which report to display within it and which parameters it uses when it runs. So I can do that by right-clicking the sub-report and choosing to view its properties. And on the first page of the dialog box, I can choose which report should be displayed. So that's number 44, Country Films sub-report. I can also head to the parameters page then and add a parameter which will be used when the report runs. Now here's the advantage of having dragged my report using the toolbox, sorry, the sub-report from the toolbox. I actually get a sensible drop-down list of parameters to select from. Had I dragged my sub-report in from the Solution Explorer, for some reason this drop-down list isn't populated. So there you go, there's the advantage of doing it this way. I can then simply say which value I'd like to pass into that parameter, and that's going to be the country ID. So I can then click OK. And when I finally preview my report, I should see a neat list of films made in each country. If you've enjoyed this training video, you can find many more online training resources at www.wisel.co.uk.